focusing in my breath now. And so here's what I got. I'm going to take it out of the box. <laughs> and I can't wait to show you. Okay, I'm in a parking lot. People are literally looking at me like crazy. I don't even care. Okay, so here it is. Oh, my gosh. It may be a little tight. It may be tight on me. I got to undo it just a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Stay patient, people. <laughs> Stay patient. This is going to be worth it. Maybe not. Maybe not. But <laughs> it's worth it to me. And I have to share with my friends on the internet webs. So here's what it is. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's echoing, though, Tiffany. Is it right, on your okay, side? So this is what I got. Once again, this is for me. I think you have to shut your speakers off when you play it. Yeah, I'll let them play it. Thing. it it's echoing. Is that better? So here we go. Okay. You can still hear it though. Like you can hear two different volumes on my end. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes. Now watch when my mouth actually moves. Put your, okay. put your earpiece in and let me see if it if it does it then. I no? can't on this computer. Oh, okay. Got it. Never mind. That's not me making that noise. It's so bad. <laughs> I still love her. <laughs> <laughs> It never gets old. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. button for Facebook Live. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to, had to kick it off with that. No, so it's funny. awesome. Where's the button for Facebook Live? I'm just curious. Hmm, let's see. Oh, by the way, hang on one second, Adam. We are live. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And um, this is Adam, Mr. Century City, who has his hands in, hello, hello. in everything having to do with entertainment and finance. And I am Tiffany T., um, founder of Tiffany T World and Savvy Social Now. And okay, hold that back up. Thank you for joining us all. Thank um, you. And I'm sure trying to teach me how to do <laughs> Facebook Live. So this is going to oh, be. And Sam, Sam, hello. Hey, Sam. Um, okay, so you would go to, go to, do you want to live stream as Adam Torres and Mr. Century City? No, just whatever my Facebook is. It's all good. You go to Adam Torres? Yeah. And go to status. Status. Oh, you go to status. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, because you can do it from the page. I get it now. Um, yeah. Okay. No, I'll do it as status. I have a. There's a button for a live stream. Oh, wow. All right. So I'm I, Sam, in. Sam, do you want to come on and um, and talk about gratitude? You, I know you have a lot of things to be grateful for. Yes, please. Please, <laughs> Sam. Do it. Do it. Come on, Sam. Do it. He's, he might be in another room. He juggles a lot. Ah, got it. Mr. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, okay, it's wine day today. I don't drink wine, but um, I guess a lot of people do. I don't know. Um, do you, you don't drink, drink wine? wine at all? No, not really. I'm not really? A wine I used to be, but yeah. Well, you know, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the top five things you're grateful for today? I'll tell you what I just heard a moment ago. So I was talking on Periscope to a, a buddy by the name of Hector. Mm -hmm. And I am so grateful for people like him. He was sharing with me. He's done. I wrote it down because it's unbelievable. He, he was at the Salvation Army today and uh, he's a counselor. So he, does, he deals with um, rehab and some other things like that. That's his profession. But over and above that, like like unpaid hours, he's done over 8,000 hours in the last four years of volunteering. Wow. 8,000. That's crazy. That's I was, awesome. Yeah, I was just thinking, hey, what's going on, Brett? Say hi, Tiffany. <laughs> there goes my first, uh, my first live stream ever. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I know. It's my first live stream, too. Yeah. So I don't even know sitting on my phone because it's like over there on the tripod. I'm so sorry. Whoever's watching it. 
<laughs> oh, got it. Yeah, so we're on Blab today. I've never done this before. It's another another platform, and Tiffany brought me on here, so very grateful for that. Also, I'm grateful that I met you. Um, I think we're gonna do have a lot of fun doing this show and talking to people about gratitude, and it's just it's just a lot of fun for me. So just that servant's heart. It's just it's it's fun. <laughs> Absolutely. What's one of your grateful moments? Come on. My five things I'm grateful for. Well, every day I usually do 10. So, mm-hmm. um, oh my gosh, there's so much, there's so much good going on in my life right now. I'm so freaking stoked. I'm happy. Did I just say stoked? <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> like you're in high school or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, okay. So we got this new vacuum and his name's Bob. He's like the newest addition to the family. Any vacuums without me having to do it. I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> Stop. Hey, Gonzo, uh, welcome. So just letting you know what we're doing today. Yes, yeah. Steph, we're just talking about gratitude today and things that we're grateful for. So the whole point of this show and the whole point of what we're doing is we just want to create this community of people that are, it's a safe place to come and just talk about things that are going on good in your life. Sometimes we're not having the best day. Sometimes we are, but I find that if we have those, you know, those awesome places we can just go and connect with people, um, it just reminds us we're all human and it just gives us the opportunity to share. So that's the whole point of this. It's a very, very straightforward concept. Love to hear what you're grateful for, Gonzo. I think stuff is on here. I don't, this is my first time on, this is my first time on Blab. Hey, John Carlo, how's it going? It's trying out Blab today. It's kind of fun. <laughs> but, um, Sam, do you want to come on? Yeah, come on. Come on, Sam. I want to hear what you're grateful for today. Let's do it. Don't be scared. Did you just say John Carlisle was on? Oh, no. John Carlo is uh, Gianni, Coach Gianni. So he's oh. uh, one, he's my coach in uh, everything internet. It's because of him that I have any type of success in anything I'm doing out here. Oh, <laughs> so he's, he's on live stream. I'm <laughs> grateful for him also. <laughs> he's got the vision. He helps me every single day. So very grateful for that, John Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> Love Blab though. Blab's cool. I, I want to see you on here, Coach Gianni. It's good. It's kind of fun. Well, you can join on anytime you want to. Absolutely. You can uh, schedule guests or something. That'd be cool. Absolutely. Actually, that'd be great, uh, Coach Gianni, we, uh, to do an interview with you on here for what you're grateful for. So I'm grateful for Coach Gianni. What his story? He's um, he, he was a coach uh, for soccer, a couple of other things, like really inspirational person. He hit hard times. And um, he basically worked really hard to get himself out of those hard times. And he went the internet route. So he's an inspiration for me because he's an, he's a complete entrepreneur. Um, he's done it on many different platforms and he's built large successful businesses just based off of being extremely, extremely focused. And his model, let me see if I can get it right. So Coach Gianni's model is uh, massive imperfect action, something like that. <laughs> so you don't have to have it all figured out. You just have to do it and just keep on doing it and um, and figure it out at some point. So if you're online and you have this dream to be this entrepreneur, um, the idea is this, just keep on going. If you made, um, a buddy of mine made 19 cents on YouTube the other day and me and him were jumping up and down. I'm like, I was just so happy for him. He's been on YouTube two weeks and he's like, wow, it's real. I made 19 cents. <laughs> and just I, say that out on the balcony? Like, I have imperfect action. <laughs> Imper- yes, imperfect action. So for those of you watching on, on uh, uh, Facebook Live, let me show you a little a little um, what we're looking at on Blab right now, just so you get an idea. So this is the platform. It's really cool. You can type in comments. This is Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you go. You can't hear her, but <laughs> I don't think you can. Um, but uh, you can type in comments. I'm, I'm a fan of this new platform. Just throwing it out there. I think it's really cool. I think it, and it's also really super easy to share on YouTube. So that's one of my favorite things about it. Um, You just push a button and you can upload it from YouTube and it's interactive. So you can have other people join in the chat room, which is really cool to me. Um, Just a lot of fun. I don't know. Yes. And thank you. um, Thank you, Dino. Thank you, Jerry, for joining. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome, Jerry. Thank you. I don't know what's in here. That's awesome. Hey, Dino, welcome. 
Welcome, Dino. Tell me what you're grateful for today. <laughs> I am. Okay, go ahead. Never mind. I'm trying to find this article. All right, so, so all right, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm grateful for the Chewbacca lady. I'm sorry, she's bright in my day. I've seen it. I've seen her video now like five times, and I don't care what anybody says. That lady is pure joy. Why did that go viral? Because it freaking should go viral. <laughs> So, I wish everybody was talking about something gr happy like that every day instead of, uh, let's say, things that aren't the best or the most positive. That lady's laugh was infectious. <laughs> it is. It is, it's just so cute. It's so freaking cute. Um, I'm grateful for my guy, Dino Gomez, got featured in Entrepreneur Freaking Magazine. Awesome. Thanks. For May 2016. Props to Dino Gomez. You go, guy. Wow, Dino, you were an entrepreneur? That's awesome. Grateful for living. I'm going to read Dino's <laughs> comment. There's people, there's people. I want to read that comment. So Dino wrote in, grateful for living in this day and age. How awesome is all this tech? So much opportunity. Dino, I could not agree with you more. It's amazing that you can pick up your little phone and you can do whatever you want. It blows my mind that people have built successful businesses off of their iPhone. And it's, it just blows my mind. So I'm completely grateful for that also, Dino. Um, amazing time. And then the dissemination of information. Come on. How is it that we can just type something in Google and find the answer? I right? mean, it's, it's crazy to me. And now, so now the challenge, and this is the, this is part of the reason for doing the gratitude show and talking about gratitude is now the challenge is finger is that information is so easy and it's at our fingertips. So how do we stay focused on things that are going to uplift us as opposed mm -hmm. to bring us down? So that's the that's the challenge there, and that's the opportunity, in my opinion. Um, but I love it, Dino. I agree completely. I was talking to Dino about that the other night. I was like, "It's such BS that like things that go viral mostly are just like so such a low vibration. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like BS stuff. Yep. Like, like what about like the really good things that happen, like the Chewbacca lady, whatever. Like <laughs> the Chewbacca lady <laughs> got a place in my heart. It's awesome." Okay, but I mean, you know, meaningful stuff. Like it seems like all the things that are dramatic and like, I, like I said, vibrating on a lower level gets all the attention. Um, just like, for example, the news. Like there's all a bunch of BS. But um, I was like, I can't wait until we get to that point in the world where you know we we have stuff that's going viral that say hi, um, to DJ. Hi. <laughs> It just really matters and it's important and it, it matters on like a whole other level that makes a difference in the world and spreads love and compassion. So, Absolutely. And for, yeah. for everyone on Facebook Live, just to let you know, we're on Blab. So Blab's a cool new platform. I'm, I'm new to it. Uh, first time on here, but I just wanted to introduce people to it. You can type in the chat section. You can join on the call. It's really cool. So um, you can go on Blab, and our the show is um, Gratitude Show, so you can look it up under Tiffany T. Um, I believe that's the best way to look it up on Blab. Girl, girl. Type it up. Oh, wait, just kidding. It's <laughs> <laughs> so, but what you can't do yet is you can't. <laughs> let me tell you what you can't do. You can't type on Blab and then communicate with your phone that's live streaming. <laughs> I can really have one platform. <laughs> that was so good, Tiffany. <laughs> I know. Okay. Just so everybody knows I'm like the biggest work. I'm the biggest work in the whole entire world. I was the first student with that. <laughs> Why didn't it show up on my Facebook? I'm typing on my computer and I'm streaming on my phone. It's not the window. <laughs> it's the Chewbacca lady all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, I can't take it. That's awesome. <laughs> so I'm I was, when I was talking to you earlier, I was like mm -hmm. trying to figure out what to wear tonight. I'm like, hmm. So for my other show that just live, <laughs> aired live <laughs> on Sunday nights called The Bends, I forgot, I even forgot what I wore for that. I don't remember. Well, but anyways, I'm grateful that I found this really cool necklace <laughs> and this shirt to walk me here. What? <laughs> Oh, I'm grateful. I'm having so much fun. So, so Dino, I'm grateful for camera ready. <laughs> you call, you're like, hey, what's up? I'm, like, what's up? I'm grateful for camera ready. <laughs> you're killing me. 
<laughs> so much fun. But you know what? That's like what we wanted to do. We wanted to have fun and um there you go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Come on, hold okay. on. Let's do one of these. Interaction. Oh, my Aunt Didi's on. Hi, Aunt Didi. Didi. Oh. <laughs> this she's is like, so cool. Technology. She's like, she's like, who's this strange Puerto Rican you're talking to on lab? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. And you're like, which one did you do, Ma? Oh my gosh, too funny. Okay, so um, Facebook. I like I said, I don't know really how to do this. I'm, I'm live streaming with Adam Torres, Mr. Century City, and I can't even. I'm not sure how many people are on or how to interact. Oh, that's random. Can you see a finished partner? Do you know? How to, <laughs> can I see what? Person. No, I can't see any of this stuff. Come on, you're the tech. I'm you're the tech hour. woman. I've already been through this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you down again and try to. Uh... That was a deal. <laughs> um, shush. Technical. All right, let's um let's get some more content in there. So, Tiffany, why is it important to show gratitude? Oh my gosh, why isn't it? I'm important? glad you had that, asked that question, Adam, if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> I am. So do tell me, Tiffany, why is it important to show gratitude? Well, okay, first of all, I will just throw out there the fact that um, the movie The Secret, if nobody's seen it, um, it's my favorite movie in the whole world. Anybody that Is knows. Is that a selfie stick? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yes, interrupt you. You have a big purple, purple, purple selfie, selfie stick. stick. And it's not a tripod thing. Oh. You're, you're too fabulous with your phone. I can't take it. Okay. Listen, everyone. The Secret is amazing. And whoever hasn't seen it, you have to watch it. Adam and I are, I think I think you would be qualified enough to say you're an expert on The Secret. Hang on. Hang on. Let me make sure that people can see this. No, they can't. Oh, but, uh, so gratitude is so important because and I, I'm so sorry. Facebook, Facebook's getting like thrown all over the place right now. <laughs> your your aunt your aunt is like has a bruised head from like what's going on right it's now on the phone. Okay. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Um. So gratitude is when you are in that state of mind of being appreciative and thankful and you feel it it's not only like saying thank you no it's being like thank you like thank you and like feeling it from the inside it creates more of that what you're being thankful for in the world it creates more of that in your life and what i really like to do is i like being thankful for people because like, and i like sending them good thoughts and, and good energy because when you're like sending the vibrations of goodness out to the world it really comes back and it's not that you're doing it for a selfish reason or whatnot, but being thankful for anything brings more of that to you. So gratitude is so important to me at least because, um, there's been times where I've just been thankful for having somewhere to sleep at night or, you know, times in my life where I've been grateful for what people normally would be like, oh my gosh, you're grateful for that. I'm like, heck yeah. Like, <laughs> heck yeah. I woke up this morning. Right. <laughs> you're like, not quite like right. this, but I still woke up this morning. <laughs> yeah, so that's what's most important to me. It's like the big thing about gratitude. What about you? <laughs> yeah, for me, I mean, so gratitude is just a feeling. So I've, I've had this conversation with people so many times about like, like how, like, they try to put gratitude in this box. So it's saying that, well, gratitude's something very specific. Sure, if you're looking at the dictionary, it's something very specific, of course. But to me, it's more of a state of mind. So I think with that state of mind, um, something happens. You just become a consistently different human being. I think you develop the ability to feel a little bit more. Um, I also think that you have the you you develop the ability to naturally receive things. So sometimes our energies, if we're not focused on, or if, I don't know if you believe this or not, but most people don't necessarily think about it. But what you focus on is what you're going to get over the long haul, um, no matter what, whether it's positive, negative, whatever you're focused on, that's going to be brought into your life. 
So my thought process and my choice and and style or way of living is to focus on being positive. Um, it's to focus on gratitude and it's to focus on love. And you know, some people say, "Well, Adam, are you always happy, or can you always be happy?" Or it's not even about that. I mean, it's not. It's the wrong question. The question is, if I'm not feeling good, and if I force myself to smile, if I watch the Chewbacca lady to make myself laugh, if I do something like that, I mean, on the cellular level, we're 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 what we're chemicals. We're you know we're we're matter. If we look at that, I mean, if I can alter my mood based off of smiling, even if it's a forced smile, um, even if I'm just putting on something that's fun or that's funny, um, if I could do any of that, then why wouldn't I? I mean, that's I mean, people go to people go to horror films to be scared, right? So you go to you go to force yourself. To, and I'm not against that, by the way. I just mean in general. So people do go to horror movies so that they get that feeling of fright, so that they jump. You go to you go to comedies to laugh, right? So what's happening there? All of these things are chemical reactions in your body and your physiology. So my thought process is this: you do that to get scared. You do that to laugh. You might do that for suspense. If you're watching a thriller, you might do. Um, you want an adrenaline rush? You might watch an action film. Well, hey, why not spend time in your life focusing on gratitude and purposely filling yourself up with that love? So that's the whole point, and that's so it's like I'm trying to create another genre in movies. All right, <laughs> it's the it's the gratitude genre. Come on, Tiffany. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> I'm still with you. <laughs> Can we have a new genre? I'm just throwing that out there. Now yeah, the genre. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's funny too when you say like. It, it is. It all stems down to like a, we have chemical genetic makeup and, and we all vibrate at a certain frequency and we have electric energy literally running through our bodies all the time. And mm -hmm. that's why I can't stress enough. Hi, Mike. Thank you for joining us. Um, that's why I can't stress enough the importance of learning the law of attraction and the way that just things work in life. And um, gosh, I mean, there's so many things that you hit on the head, Adam. Um, and yes, we're talking about gratitude, Mike. So if there is anything that you would love to say or. Absolutely. To, this is, this is to participate. This is show one. We're going to be doing this every week. It's not going to stop. Um, that's the way it goes. So it's funny on Periscope. On Periscope, when I first started on Periscope, I would I did a gratitude show and I would be talking about gratitude and I'd sit there. And I was by myself. There was exactly this many viewers. It was a big goose egg. <laughs> there was exactly zero viewers. <laughs> and I'd sit there and I'd look in the phone and I'm like, man, what am I grateful for today? And I just start sitting there and listing them. And then before you knew it, I looked at the bottom right and I'm like, whoa, somebody's watching me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? And then other people shared what they were grateful for. And it was like, um, to me, that's where the magic happens. It's just in building that, that community of people that are expressing gratitude. And what's interesting to me, um, and Dino, this is something that's happened in my life. I know you have a lot of obviously experience. If you're an entrepreneur magazine, that doesn't just happen by accident. But um, something that's happened to me is I've developed these great friendships with positive people. And mm -hmm. when I think about, I just did a show on YouTube about um, branding yourself. I, I did, I put that one out today and it was basically talking about how do you want to brand yourself and what is your overall message? So my message and the way I like to brand myself, it's, it's just basically saying I want to be a positive guy that does good things in this world and that puts out positive energy. So people say, so what do you do? I'm like, that's what I do. <laughs> There's nothing else behind it. That's just me. And it takes a while for people to understand. You you see me on fifty of these or a hundred of these, then you'll be like, okay, this guy, that's just him, right? But um, if you're looking at personal brands, I told the story on the video of this woman that I um that I ran into in an elevator. Beautiful woman, really nice. I, I, it was the morning time, and I and I just walked in the elevator, and I said, hey, how's it going? Um, and she's like overworked and underpaid. And she said it with a big smile. She was like overworked and underpaid. How are you with a big smile? Like, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's, she's totally branding herself incorrectly. I was just like, like affirm something positive um, just in general, because, you know, if she keeps reaffirming I'm overworked and underpaid, do you know what happens? She's going to continue to be overworked and underpaid. 
not only that, but she doesn't know who I was or if I was one of her firm's clients. She doesn't know if um, if I was going to be her next boss. I asked her, what do you do? She says she's an IT director. And I'm like, geez, she wasn't actually in a bad mood. That's the thing. So that to just to reiterate, she was actually in a very pleasant mood and smiling and bright and cheerful. But those were her words. I was like, wow, if you were really overworked and underpaid, why would you be so happy about saying it? <laughs> say something else. Say anything. <laughs> but really watch the personal brand um and that's and that's just how what kind of energy you want to put out into the universe and and the main point there is that she's positive and she's happy and she's she's kind of killing herself with that one and, I, and so looking at how we carry ourselves and what we want out of life i just think is really important yes anger would not make her rich that's a good point like i appreciate your true. feedback that's true no, I, I, I completely agree. Did, uh, is your Facebook Live still going? My Facebook Live is going. And for everybody on Facebook Live, let me, I just want to show you what we're doing today. Yeah. We're, doing a, we're doing a blab. That's why you can't see the comments. Blake just joined us. And that's what we're, uh, <laughs> that's why we're talking to, and I know you can't hear Tiffany. I'm going to get a better setup for all this. We're going to have a big projector. It's going to be, it's going to be crazy blab style. Watch, this is going to happen. I haven't figured the platform out yet, but I promise you, if somebody will do it, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm not scared to figure out any platform. Right? Oh, yes, yes. So we're gonna do lab party. I'm gonna come up to LA and hopefully once this is our first show and everything, okay. but what are we gonna call it? Is it gonna be like uh Blabapalooza or is it gonna be like uh <laughs> we want <laughs> like what what should it be? Um or I uh Suggestions. How can you do a, a Coachella? Throw in. How do you mix? How do you marry Coachella and the word blab? Blabella. Blabella. Is it a blabella? I don't know. That's kind of weak. <laughs> oh my god. So I don't know. What are we gonna call it? We got. So the goal is what? Uh, we're gonna do it this time. We can survive. We'll get more people involved, and we gotta hit the. We got. We want to go for the blab world record. What's the world record right now? I don't know if Sam was on, he would tell us. Oh, um, Sam, we got to get Sam on. Sam is too busy monitoring 50 chats right, right now. Exactly. He's such an all star. I don't know where this guy's He's a go getter. I swear. <laughs> no, for, I'm grateful for Sam. Oh, I'm grateful for Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's awesome. <laughs> but. Yeah. So I still have four more things to state what I'm grateful for. Please. I'm sorry. Keep talking, please. Oh, it's so fine. <laughs> What's up, Ty? Please oh, okay. do it. Hey, Ty, we're looking at, we're on Blab right now. Look at this little, hey. there we go. Oh, okay. Tell, tell Facebook Live what you're grateful for. I am grateful that my press releases finally came out and I made public that I get to co-author a book with Jack Canfield. Oh, that's so exciting. I, it's been since February when I found out. But I didn't publicly mention it until the press releases came out last week. So Wow. So co-authoring a book with Jack Canfield's a big deal. It is. That's awesome. It, That's exciting. I'm so happy for you. Looked up to and I followed since I was 15. <laughs> Which was like a long, long time ago. Like, wait, I'm 33 now. How old? That was like a couple years ago. I got you. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm grateful for that. Definitely. I'm just wow. grateful. Everything in my life is going amazing. And I swear it's from practicing a law of attraction, being grateful every single day and setting up my day in, in the most amazing way. Can you tell every us a little bit about what the book is about? Just a little bit? Or you, don't, 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 don't keep inquiring minds waiting. Come on. It's called The Road to Success. And it's a compilation of entrepreneurs. Oh, yeah. I got featured in um, uh, Shish. I don't know. I, I got featured in something else that I don't even know. <laughs> you got featured. Okay, you wrote a wrote a co-authored a book with Jan, Jack Cancel. No, no, no big deal. Chicken entrepreneur that's like a leader of my industry. Oh, America's premier experts. That's what it was. Wow, that's so cool. Congrats. <laughs> the book's about a bunch of entrepreneurs coming together to write what their version of success is. Cool. And my contribution was success starts with yourself first. Because in order to have long-term success in anything in life, it all starts with you. I mean, you can have short-term success, but you're not going to have long-term success unless you're completely aware of who you are, where you're going, what you want to do, and just awareness of yourself 
in full. So that's what my chapter was about, which was completely different than everybody else. And yeah, so I'm super excited. I get to go to the Keeley's Award and get inducted into the America's Best bestseller best-selling national Academy. What, is, what, what is the Keeley's award I'm not I'm not familiar with that I'm sorry <laughs> it's just an induction to the um, bestsellers Academy oh that's amazing so because of the book and uh it's a bestseller already you're already geez and it's not even released good job Rockstar yeah thank that's you that's awesome that's and exciting I'm, I'm um yeah that's oh and I'll be up in your area Adam yeah, in LA. I want I want uh, to shoot your um your Century City Headliners video for the book release. Absolutely, yeah. we got to do it. Got to get all got to get all camera ready and come out. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm going to wear for the red carpet. Oh. Uh, clothes, <laughs> okay. clothes are good. <laughs> clothes are good. That's normally what. Well, no, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Women, no, not not so good. I mean, it just depends. <laughs> it depends on what red carpet you're walking on, right? <laughs> It depends. It depends what award. I don't know. <laughs> right. I don't know. Like I guess the Keeley's award. I have my award mm -hmm. back in the or my certificate back in the other room. But um, you get inducted into the National Best Selling Academy. I think that's wow. what it is. I'm not. I'm all new to this. That's so all exciting! I, was I can't wait to interview you about it. It's gonna be good. Blake, do you want to contribute to what you're um, grateful for? We would love I would to hear too, it. Blake. This is happening. And well, I get uh -oh. my my <laughs> life going because like it's um it just totally shut off on me. Uh, and I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I have to like I don't know. Oh, yeah. I just don't know. <laughs> I'm grateful for knowing. Too funny. <laughs> Gratitude show. What did you put for your headline? I put, I'm oh, busy. I didn't know that we were supposed to put headline. I put, come check this out. It's really cool or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. All brand new. Hey, Christian, what's going on, buddy? Christian's, I think Christian's on. I can't tell if somebody's actually watching or not. So look, we're playing on Blab today. This is the first Blab that I've done. Um, should be interesting. Hey, Facebook Live. We just, I just got cut oh. off. I'm still here with Mr. Century City. And oh, that's we are awesome, doing. Blake. Lab, a blab for our show, The Gratitude Show, airing every Wednesday night at 9 30. If you can see That's there, really cool, Blake. A I am. Um, oh, hey. <laughs> All right. Anyways, no, we'll that's awesome. I, you know what's, you know what's interesting about that, Blake, is I, so I've been doing, um, I've been doing gratitude shows. This is the first one on Blab, but I've been, I I think I'm re approaching 200 and I've talked to people all around the world. So, I mean, talking from Russia to name it, um, Saudi Arabia, Ireland. Um, I can't name the countries. I'd say probably, geez, I don't know how many countries, but when I, when I like talk to somebody and, and I'm saying what they're grateful for, a lot of times it's their family. A lot of times it's going to be their friends. A lot of times it's going to be in that. It's going to be their health. And it's kind of interesting to me because, you know, like what we talk and not to get into politics, but whatever the views are that you have, it's just interesting that we're all connected to me by some of the basic things. And that's that human connection with our family, our loved ones. Um, it's an amazing thing to be grateful for. And I don't think we spend enough time like really looking internally to that. So what I normally do is I have, um, so on my YouTube channel, I do what's called a gratitude gift. And so what I do is every single day I come out with a new video and I ask the audience to do a gift of gratitude. So for, uh, some, it could be something as simple as, um, send everyone uh, or send one text to somebody and just tell them simply that you're grateful they're in your lives and you would be surprised what that does i had a, I, I did that on one of my videos and um i get a text back from my buddy just thanking me and he basically says he sent his wife a text that said i'm grateful that you're uh, that you're in my life i love you and um and her, her and basically she ended up when when they got when she when he got home obviously he got a big hug and kiss but she had tears in her eyes like literally just from acknowledging um you know i'm grateful that you're in my life so it's just something to think about uh just those little things that we know we we kind of i i when i say we i at times take for granted 
um, things like that. And so I try to refocus on that daily and do something small act. It can be send somebody a Facebook message that's out of the blue and just say a family member, a friend, and just say, hey, thank you for something or um, send them a snap. I'm a big fan of Snapchat. <laughs> you can send them a snap. I, I might send a random snap to someone that just says, <laughs> thinking of you with a big filter on it or something. <laughs> and a big, um, but it just makes a difference. And, and I'll tell you another thing. So sometimes, so I've done, I've done that exact same thing. I just call it a gratitude gift and it's, it can be a lot of different things. Share a positive quote with somebody, share, it could be a ton of things. And what's amazing to me is even though I give the message and I'm the one kind of saying what to do, um, the funny thing is that sometimes I'll get them and I'm still blown away. I'm like, oh, I got the text. Oh, yeah, somebody's grateful for me. I'm human too. I can't help it. Even, even though I'm the one that gave that made the uh, <laughs> that made it up. <laughs> it still works though. It's still you still feel amazing. And that's where it's like people say, you know, is it it doesn't matter what's behind it. That what matters is that you feel good doing it. It feels good. So gravitate towards that. That's it. You don't have to overthink it. Mm -hmm. You're so right on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You can tell. I love like hearing you talk and listening to you because you just light up. You have this thing, this presence about you that like, you're not, you're not bullshit. You're really, you're real. Like it, completely you can see it and i i love that i'm so i'm so like fortunate and i feel so honored to be able to like be doing this with you yeah we're gonna have Thank fun you. we're gonna we're gonna create a big community of people that are just happy come on <laughs> and i'm so glad that like oh my gosh if this is just the first show think of the possibilities oh, well, like you know show 1000 show 1000 come on <laughs> <laughs> right i can't believe you've done like 200 periscopes that was crazy yeah and that's just uh of like gratitude um yeah i just uh it started just on wanting to just build that community and it's awesome and to hear people talk about what's going on in their lives i've literally like heard um somebody say that they're they're grateful for being a, oh what was her i forget her name hanim hanim she's in saudi arabia and she's part of this program that does um software development and she's part of this initiative it's basically a woman's initiative to get them into the tech field because they well they have their own politics in terms of um in terms of employment and stuff and she doesn't necessarily have to work so that's not the point the point is is that she's a pioneer in what she's doing in the tech space in saudi arabia and she's serving as a inspiration to other women around her and it's amazing because when i first met her or started talking to her i guess you'd see on the, on the gratitude show on periscope um, she had just started her studies. And so I've been able to go through that and I can hear what she's grateful for. One day she came on Periscope and she says, I'm grateful that I did this presentation. It went well. She did it in front of her faculty and a dean and all this stuff at her school, which is a really big deal. So it's really fun to um, share in that gratitude and to share in that love in other people's lives. And it uplifts me and I know it uplifted her. Everybody's happy. And then the community, people are commenting on, on um, on her achievement and people get to know each other and it's just like whoa get out of here i'm like i changed i just changed my periscope thing to i love my periscope buddies like the uh <laughs> the uh description because i'm like i really do i miss them <laughs> I, I like talking to gr about gratitude with them <laughs> i'm excited about blab to do That's the awesome. same thing because it's more it's a little bit more interactive so you can go both ways uh in terms of the communication so it's pretty cool it would be really cool to get your Periscope buddies on Blab so that you can actually see them because in Periscope yeah. you can just type, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I think, I don't, and you know what's interesting is uh, everybody, you know, everybody has their thing. We'll see. Some people will want to be on camera. Some people like to, some people like to chat. Me, I'll tell you the first Periscope Wait. I did, I was so, I'm still, a, I'm still deathly scared. I'm afraid. I'm like, oh, what's going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever happens, no, just roll with it. It's fun. It's <laughs> fun now, though. Well, well, now I have friends on there, so they'll they'll uh, put somebody else in check. But when you're going live, you never know. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. My Facebook Live shut down twice already on me. I'm not sure if it's Facebook uh -huh. itself or I don't know. Maybe too many people are watching and Facebook doesn't like or oh, using do you think? Oh, you know what? Facebook can tell. Facebook can tell everything. 
<laughs> they know. That's kind of scary, but what Dino says about it, I love it. He's like, just get on the marketer side of Facebook. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> Back. Hey, good point, Dino. <laughs> good point. <laughs> you will love it then. Become a producer and not a consumer, and you will love it. I concur. <laughs> <laughs> That's random. <laughs> it is. Everything's so random. That's what. That's what's so cool about all this live stuff. It's like, okay, you know, they ask you to pick a topic and, you know, discuss mm -hmm. your topic and everything. And obviously you keep your points to, to the topic. Like, for example, I'm so grateful for technology these days because we do have this opportunity to do something like mm -hmm. this and get it out there to people at That's lightning right. speed, like literally all over. And it's awesome because like whatever happens, just roll with it. Like I've seen a couple of labs that, I was like, oh my gosh, not, not like in oh, a, there we go. hi. <laughs> so we're on Blab today. Oh, look at that. That's my ugly mug. There we go. It's mine. Well, no, I mean, oh. it's not the worst mug, but it, you know, it looks, it's, it's cool with the snap, with a cool, oh, cool with the Snapchat filter too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. So you I'm going to teach, teach you so about much about Snapchat. It's so fun. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey Tommy, Tommy's uh, oh Tommy's joining on Facebook Live. Hey Tommy, we're doing um so Tommy's awesome. He took me on a uh, photo shoot the other day, um, and he does a lot of drone work. So he's a uh, really talented. He designs golf courses. Um, so hey Tommy, we're on Blab today, and what we're doing is we're we're learning this whole new platform. And the gratitude show that I was doing on Periscope, we're now doing. We're, well, I'm going to do both, but. Um, we're blabbing it now. Is that is that the word? Is that the verb? We're blabbing it. <laughs> is Let it, it blabbing? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. We're blab. We're just blabbing today. It's, it's whatever we want to call it. I think it. as long as blabs. Called. Along with blabapalooza. Twenty four. <laughs> yes, we're gonna have to make like. I don't know blabcella. There's that two L A. That might be two two L A. Blabcella. A blab party. How is our blab party going to work? How's that well, going to Well, I have a pretty big place, so we can fit some people in there. Um, I have good lighting. I have – it's really open, so it's basically just like a big studio. Um, I don't know how many people we get in here, but we just basically um, – Pour drinks and have fun and talk about gratitude and eat food and, you know, do that. Well, I was thinking, like, um, huh. Well, we can always plan it later, but that's going to be really fun. Yes. Like, that's going to, I could totally Absolutely. picture Like, Ooh, and you know, it would be fun. So, um, wow. Would we, so if we do it towards, um, cause you have all these different shows that you're doing, right? So we can have different themes that carry throughout. So, and as we build these and then as we do different ones, we can even like, um, so there'll be so many, we can have a decent amount of people here so we can have them share their story and it can be that style because then the content will also be fun over a, over a longer period of time. So that'd be fun. And because we're in LA, there's so many night owls. I mean, I can think of many creative people that will have no problem talking between the hours of two and three or three and four or, um, oh, this is a good one. Thanks, Brad. So I got this. So let me, I got to read this comment. Man, you are crazy to be contained. I'm grateful that you're out there taking. <laughs> oh, come on, Brad. <laughs> you're awesome. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Brad's awesome. That's all I gotta say. Ask him what he means by contained. I don't want to read the rest of the comment. <laughs> what are you? What are you? A wild I animal? Don't I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. You're awesome. <laughs> oh, but that's all we do. So then we. I mean, come on. How many people uh, um, are like I said? We're over here, so there's we can have people filling in the, the later hours so I can get a little snooze in on a couple hours, but no, this will be good. Now we can easily do that. Yeah. I, that'll be fun. And we, and we got to take the blab world record. We got to find out where is Sam at? Where is Sam bit all night? Hey, uh, how's where it going? Sam go? I can, I can, you got to find Sam. Somebody text Sam. Go. I'm going to text Sam right now. I'm going to have him come back. <laughs> Hey, hey, Yvette, we're talking about gratitude today. So this is the first blab that we're, what we're doing is we're trying to build a community just based around 
expressing gratitude, expressing what you're grateful for. And really, it's just to be a positive place that people can come and, and say what they're grateful for. So some of the things that we that people have shared today um, was we uh, Blake shared he was grateful for his friends and family. Um, Tiffany shared that she was grateful for her book that she co-authored with Jack Canfield that's coming out. Um, she is uh, grateful for that. I shared that I'm, I'm grateful for being grateful. I mean, it's all it's crazy. We're just going grateful. <laughs> so what are you grateful for, Yvette? Come on. Give us a little, a little peek into your life, please. Tell us what's going on. <laughs> I'll do it. Hi, Texas right, Sam. That's awesome. Me. Uh, oh, hey, Tommy. Oh, Tommy wants us to show the video. I'm going to edit that video and I have to put it up. I haven't had a chance yet. I've been, oh my gosh, I've been an editing madman. It never stops, never stops. <laughs> the things we do to spread gratitude in this world, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have this, so I have this, uh, this blogger I started working with and because um, I'm really specific about my content and how I want the message delivered because you have to agree with the message, especially if you're a blogger. I'm like, if you're looking at all these videos and all this, oh, here we go. I'm grateful and supportive for friends and every day. Absolutely. Thank you for thank you Live for sharing that about daily. I completely yes. agree with that. And back. I'll tell you what, being grateful for waking up in the morning, do not uh <laughs> don't underestimate that one. <laughs> Have to do it. <laughs> so I was talking to this um so this blogger that I started working with, and he um and I told him, I'm like, uh, well, I want you to watch some videos, some of the videos I do on YouTube to make sure that you want to write about it. Um so at first he kind of, you know, I, I was trying and interviewing quite a few just to see if they got it. And I, one of the things I wanted them to bring up on their own essentially was the secret. So once I found the person that had watched the secret or kind of knew some of the philosophy behind it, I was like, Oh, I'm so grateful. I finally found somebody <laughs> that the ideals align, but I'm just like, so this person's positive energy being brought to this whole gratitude project, I think it's going to make it that much more fun for everybody. And just to create great content that people can see that's just positive and uplifting. So definitely grateful for him. I'll have to send him a link to this one so he can see it. And, you know, he's busy too, but I'm like, come on, come talk to about gratitude. And he's talking about the, the YouTube videos. He's like, and he gives me pointers. He tells me what to do on some of the things like direction. And I said, wow. So the only people that the people that are going to know these videos the best are you, me and my mom. <laughs> I said my mom's probably the only one that's going to watch it more than everybody else. <laughs> Yeah, well, and you know what's cool about Bob mm -hmm. is, um, it, you know, if you don't get on live, that's okay. You can always just watch the replay. Oh, no big deal. Yeah, I love that. Okay. Especially, I mean, this, it seems like everything's uh, saved in social media these days. So oh, it's always nice. The cloud. That. Whether you can get it back from the cloud, I don't know. Right. I don't know about this cloud conspiracy, but. <laughs> You said, Yvette, you said every day above ground. Don't worry. After after we're not above ground anymore, then we just go to the cloud. We're just on a server. Apple 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 downloads us. I hope you paid enough. <laughs> I hope you paid enough to save your content. We'll be on Apple forever. <laughs> Where does it go after that? The cloud. Where do we go? That's what. Oh for me. <laughs> Sorry, really bad joke, but I can see the comic strip now. I'm not a graphic designer, but if I was, I'd draw a, it's like a little kid talking to his mom or dad or something and saying, where do we go after we after we die? And he's like, we go to the cloud. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> and there's a big Apple logo. <laughs> I'll take it. Somebody please draw that, please. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, I am like, I'm so thankful for all the people that have joined Absolutely. us tonight and Blake, but um, I'm going to type in um, Adam's website as well as mine. So you can follow us on, is I'm that good. correct? That is, uh huh. I'm really excited for your book. This is really cool, Tiffany. I'm, I'm, I know that's not an easy thing to do to write a book or to get a project out there. Like for anybody that's 
done it or have or been thinking about doing it, I'm so grateful for creative people that just go out there and do it. It does because it takes, you know, it takes a little bit of time. Um, oh, is that mine? Oh, it's facebook.com slash Mr. Century City. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, look at this. Eileen Grace, if I'm saying it right. Hello, we're talking about gratitude. You caught the tail end, but make sure that you follow because it's going to be fun. So what we're uh, the whole goal of this is that we are, by the way, my mom's name's Grace. So I'm a big fan of that name, FYI. Um, what we're trying to do is build a community here just based on sharing love and positivity. We're trying to create a safe place that people can come when they're happy or even when they're down to just talk about things that are going on good in their life. So I think I, we're going to have to remember this because I won't remember it, Tiffany, but we're trying to create a new a new genre of movie of, of being happy. <laughs> so people go to movies to be scared. You know, you go to a horror film. People go to uh, comedies to laugh. Well, this genre is called gratitude. It's the gratitude genre. You go there to express gratitude and to uh, just fill yourself up with love and happiness and also to fill up others. So I talk about it in my YouTube videos pretty often, but the whole, the whole idea here is that you're giving and putting things out into the universe without necessarily expecting or having to get something back. Um, that's the whole point here and that's the message. And I'll tell you, I started this on, um, on Periscope a while ago, and I'm telling you, as this thing gets bigger, it's so much fun. Like the dream is this, we'll, we'll see a stream of just like what people are grateful for, just to see a stream to where you just like, wow, it just, it just fills you up and you can tell like there's all this abundance out there because everybody's sharing. And it's just one of these things where I'm like, I can't wait to watch the replays, especially as things get bigger and more people join because then you're like if i'm feeling down i can just hit the replay and i'm like look at all this there is to be grateful for people all around the world showing what they're grateful for you know what put a smile on your face adam just relax buddy it's okay <laughs> <laughs> absolutely okay so the 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 happy genre feeling good genre it's just i mean let's just stick with the branding it's the gratitude genre I don't know. You, you haven't heard of the gratitude genre yet? Oh my gosh, where have you been? Yes, it's hot, dude. Get with it. Where have you been? It's at like, it's in the, it's in like all the eye picks. <laughs> it's like in all the all the movie theaters. You must not watch foreign films. <laughs> You're definitely not in with the times. <laughs> you haven't seen the gratitude genre. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's how it's going to be, though. Like, seriously, we're going to make it like that. That's the plan. I've been working on it. And what rock have you been living under? <laughs> I don't know. All the cool kids know about it. That's what I know. <laughs> <laughs> so does anybody want to add anything? Eileen, you know. Yes, I'd love to hear what you're grateful for. It can be something small. It can be something big. I mean, it's not a bad. Be grateful for your family, your friends, your if you have children, if you have whatever, anything that you'd like. Um, it's just about sharing what we're grateful for. Um, a couple of things we've heard today was friends and family. We've heard grateful for another day above ground, which I seconded that motion. I'm all right with that one. Um, we have heard what else did we hear? Oh, we heard um, we heard Tiffany's book coming out. So that's, we're grateful for that. Um, you know, featured entrepreneur oh, magazine. how could I forget that? Come on. Thank you. Hold on. Hold it up again. I just want to see. Let me see. <laughs> it's so good. Good job, Dino. Oh, look at that. Oh, be, that's what I'm talking about. That's awesome. Not an easy thing to do. So congrats there. Getting in print. Come on now. We're grateful for, uh, what else did we do? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Brad, I forgot about that. Okay, so I have to read this one for oh, you're grateful for life. <laughs> Thank well, you, and we're thankful that we're doing our first Facebook Live. That I'm grateful for the first Facebook Live. <laughs> I have to read this comment to you from Blab. Uh, my buddy Brad right. just did it. Okay, <laughs> or I mean not from Blab, but from Facebook. <laughs> he put in quotes, but Adam, I don't know how to be gracious. What do I do, Adam? And he put, well, you just do it. <laughs> So anybody that's ever seen the old Art Williams, this is worth watching. Art Williams, 
um, just type him in and put just do it speech on YouTube. Oh my gosh, you're going to die at this. It's a speech from like the 80s. Um, and he was Art Williams, just his background briefly. He was a uh, really successful business person in, in selling insurance. Um, but what he was, was he's the um, original, in my opinion, one of the original business motivational speakers that actually did it. Um, and he built, he was a, he was a, he was a football coach that basically left teaching to start an insurance company that now I think was bought by Mass Mutual or something. I, I lost track, Transamerica, something like that. But the bottom line is that he did a, um, he built a huge company and he built it off of, um, off of motivating people and off of good values. So it was awesome. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Ah, oh, doing fantastic. Thank you for joining. Thanks. I love your hair. Absolutely. <laughs> oh man, I love your lighting and setup. Come on, that's awesome. <laughs> cool. Appreciate it. Thanks. So what we've been talking about today is uh, we're talking about gratitude, and uh, and the idea for this is to just share things that we're happy about, share things that we're grateful for in our lives, and just create that positive community. Agreed. I was just kind of listening in, and I saw you had some open seats, so. I forgot to jump in. People like to look at faces, right? So absolutely. No, thank you. I appreciate that. And this is my I don't know if you heard that part, but my first blab, never been on here before. So thank you. And you're my first person that's jumped in. So I'm gonna remember you forever. Even, cool. And the, the handle's cool, so that'll that's memorable. Chris Lane rocks. Nice. <laughs> I'm like, oh my handle I chose was not uh it's like Adam. Good job, Adam. That was original. Tell my parents that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Where, where are you located at, Chris? I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. Hey. We're out here in Cali. Oh, nice. And how about you, Mr. Sentry? Where are you from? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm in Beverly Hills today. We're uh, so that's where I normally scope out of, and uh, and now blab out of. That's pretty fun. I'm excited. <laughs> this is a really cool platform. How long have you been on it, or just playing? With it? Um, I've I've been on since like about November, December last year. I don't get on it a whole lot, but I kind of like pop in every once in a while. So, ah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I, uh, first time here, so it's been a good time so far. I'm liking it. I'm definitely excited to kind of expand what we've been doing and put it on here. I'll definitely say that. It's uh, yeah. a great time. Great. Okay, okay so I'm going um, to stop recording because we're actually doing a show, Chris. So hang on one second. Um, thank you all for joining in with us tonight. Please join us next Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. Pacific time, and we'd love to have you. We can do replays. Adam, do you want to ask Add anything else? Uh, yes. Don't forget to join. It's going to be fun. Everybody's doing it. Just do it. Don't complain. Just do it. Okay, join. Good, do good talk. Just do it. <laughs> Very Chris, would you like to add it? <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm hanging out. I'm good. Okay. So, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Chris. Well, have a wonderful night. Thanks for watching. <laughs>